Are you guys ready for literally the best part of this game? By agents unknown, Delian is trembling with barely contained enthusiasm. I'm really like eager to resume our investigations. I know I am. Do you recall that scrap of alien starship we recovered? Well, Inspector Brandehild has employed his unsettling calculative capacity to extrapolate the damage to the greater whole, and he has concluded that the vessel would be incapable of flight without extensive repairs. I, I forgot about Brandehild. Our most likely scenario, then, is that some unknown agent made off with the starship wreckage, along with Poo Poo's acquaintance. Fortunately, I have a fair idea who that unknown agent might be. After all, there's a singular, singularly shadowy cabal with a history of concealing extraterrestrial activity. Actually, it's over to Kama first. The inspector and the others are staying in a dwelling there, and I'd rather not explain myself twice. Thank you, because I'd rather not read it twice. Yo, what up, guys? It's so nice to see you all. Tis horribly misfortunate we look. Calamitous, even. Poor Master Poo, Poo has fallen gravely ill. Oh, no. <laughs> the shock. <laughs> oh, hello, Poo, Poo. He's so bluish green, more so, I mean. He pooped the bed. <laughs> it's a sad moment. I'm like, he ain't poop in a bed. Could he have caught a cold? I suppose it was quite chilly up there in Garlemald. Poop was an alien. Who knows what extraterrestrial diseases might be ravaging his body? Got a way to be optimistic, bro. Nash's lights are the best medicine for whatever ails you, as the inspector himself can attest. We're all gonna die. And good gods, Nashu, you'll blow our host dumbs all to pieces. Put them away. Sag. Ahem. If I may. When I was... Oh, wait, this is... Uh, this is uh, this is Brandehild. Brandehild had a robotic voice. That's right. <clears throat> Ahem. If I... Or no, that's a nerdy voice. Ahem. If I may. When I was cloned from the inspector, certain gaps in my knowledge were patched with supplementary data from the Starship's archives. And this information included an encyclopedic understanding of Master Poo Poo's physiology, which should be sufficient for me to diagnose his condition. I can just picture him pushing his glasses up on his nose like he's, you know, some kind of nerd, just like, like that. Which I do all the time when I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> a Xenoman hybrid mind. That explains the impossible calculations. He's a, he's a walking video game. Oh. <gasps> Are we doing it? Are we doing it? We're doing it. Yes! <laughs> yeah, we're taking screenshots of everything. Perfection. <laughs> Love it. I think he doesn't even have a chair. Like, he sits in an imaginary chair. I... Oh, jeez, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is some music, man. I have it. Master Poopo is afflicted by a terrible case of... The Common Cold. Wonderful. <laughs> God's grants me strength. As a visitor to Theris, Master Poopoo has no private exposure to our maladies. He is thus particularly susceptible to an infection and more likely to experience severe symptoms. I love this music playing right now. Aha! It is just as I surmised. We must put aside the case until we have nursed our stricken companion back to health. But even if it's a common cold, isn't there a risk that our medicines do him more harm than good? They almost certainly would. Ba I, I can't alternate, man. They're just gonna sound however they sound. <laughs> Based on the results of my analysis, however, I believe I can synthesize an effective remedy. We need but gathered ingredients. Then ingredients you shall have. So what are we gathering exactly? Most of what we require can be drawn from Master Poo Poo's collected samples. Otherwise, there are only two which we lack. The first one of these is the liver of a giant tortoise. Tur tortoise? Tort tortoise. <laughs> a suitable organ can be extracted from one of the kachapa, which wanders Saltwind's welcome. Ah, the slaughtering of a monstrous opponent. Sounds like a job for Vilik. You know what? I can't disagree with you, man. I will go punch a turtle in the face. The other material in question is a rare fungus known as Damp Shroom, which I'm hoping can be found among the Great Works' extensive stock of alchemical regions. 
Very well, Nashu, Delian, and I will scour the alchemist's shelves. Meanwhile, I'd ask that you remain here and keep an eye on our ailing patients. Inspector Brandehild, you're such an expert on all things Thavnir. Oh, I wouldn't say expert. Simple conclusions from simple observations, nothing more. He's a tall nerd. <laughs> I love him, though. As I said, I'm hoping the alchemists have the damp room we need, but it really is quite rare. Once you have the tortoise liver, would you be so kind as to assist the others in procuring the fungus? I have, like, the hardest job. Why do I have to help them out, too? Then let us not prolong Master Poopoo's suffering a moment longer. Mood. Bye, guys. It was good seeing you. I love you. Seems we have a job to do. Further discussion of the abduction will have to wait. I still don't like you. But that music is such a bop. Hildebrand, I got your liver. Ah, look, I had very confidence you would bring us a suitable liver. Alas, the dink sh dink shroom. That's a dink shroom. Again, hi. I, I see that little creepy Lalafell stalker of uh, Naju's back there. Can we, like, punt him into the, the ocean? The alchemist said the fungus has few applications, so they don't bother to stock it most of the time. Then I must be my blah, blah, blah. I must put my keen inspector's sense to work. Stand back whilst I attune myself with the essence of the dank. Yo, Hildebrand's gonna get high. Art. Damp. The word is damp shroom. And you'll forgive me if I have no faith in your abilities. Uh, no, it's it's Dank Shroom from now on. Thank you very much. Let Hildebrand get Dank. It is close, my friends, and getting closer and closer, even as we speak. Uh, oh. You look you look like you would know some Dank Shrooms. I hear you folk are in the market for Damp Shrooms. I may have some to sell if you're interested. B -b pow We certainly are, my fine fellow. Right then, you always give me a moment to retrieve the goods. We can finalize our transaction up on the perfumed rise. <laughs> I don't trust him. He he's got that he's got that look about him. Was it genuine clairvoyance or sheer coincidence? I'm not sure anymore. Though in all fairness, when it comes to Inspector Hildebrand, return <laughs> preternatural. <laughs> what the hell is word? Preternatural perception is one of his least baffling talents. In any case, we should hurry to the rise and take this man up on his timely offer. He's focused. There he is. We, we got the sus music playing too. Ah, you're here. Good, good. And here's the damp shroom as promised. We asked for a dink shroom. Thank you very much. That looks sus. That looks like a block of something. Oh, we're glad for your assistance. Ah, uh, Tantia, not so fast. You're still a matter of payment. <laughs> of course, of course. And how much do we owe you, my good man? Considering the extreme rarity of the fungus in question, I couldn't let it go for less than... One million gil. Bruh, I don't even have that much on me right now. A million gil for one measly mushroom? That's outright robbery. A bargain I counter, you would pay tenfold my price in the markets. I thought to do you a kindness in light of your urgent need, but I am more than willing to find another buyer if you wish to spit upon my generosity. Nashu, how fair are we for coin? Hold on, guys, hold on. I didn't want to do this before, but, like, I can just play the Warrior of Light card. And be like, bro, you literally would not be alive right now if it weren't for me, so give you boy the dank shroom. That's what I would say if I was in the shoes. We're plumb out, Inspector. And you guys are poor, too. Damn, we're all poor. Ah, uh, then this is a prickly pickle. Where are we to obtain sufficient funds at such short notice? Uh, bro, I am poor. I am broke. I am broke. Ah, uh, a million go, was it? I, uh, I have an orchestrian role collecting problem. Gotta buy them all. I spent the last of my savings on return to oblivion. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, and it's funny, too, because, like, I, I was buying uh, not only the orchestrian roles in this game, but I uh, also started buying them in Final Fantasy 16, and I've spent too much money. <laughs> 
so I'm not only broke in one game, I'm broke in two games. Gotta buy them all. Orchestrian roll. The first step... The first step of a problem is admitting that you have a problem. If that's the way of it, then I shall beg father for the necessary amount. Saving Master Poopoo's life is worth every gill. Give that man nothing. Who's this? Who are you? Oh, oh, damn. You look, you look angry. Yeah, get him. We have you now, deceitful scum. Your swindling days are over. And look at that. We didn't have to spend any money. Heck yeah. Vratatan City Guard at your service. We'd received reports of this man's questionable activities and have been keeping a close eye on him ever since. Damp Shroom, aka Dank Shroom, is a rare find in the bazaar to be sure, but only because there is no real demand for it. The price this charlatan quoted you was, quite frankly, ludicrous. But thanks to your ignorance and poor judge of character, we were able to catch him in the act. Hey. I would take offense to that if it weren't true. As a token of our gratitude, you're welcome to keep the fungus, assuming you still want it. Yes, please. Yes, very much so. This is very uh, magnanimous of you. Bah, you think I enjoyed tricking fools out of their coin? If that bastard hadn't declared my job redundant, I wouldn't have needed to stoop so low. It's like a Scooby-Doo villain. Boop. He blames a rising star among the merchant princes for his woes. Van Hoodie, I believe his name was, purchased a training consortium where the man was working, which led to a restructuring of the hierarchy. Put a lot of people out of work. I hate that. Damn corporations. Van Hoodie, Van Hoodie, I know that's name. Something about an acquisitions deal gone sour. Father was willing to sell him a slice of his Hanish enterprise, I think, but balked when the man offered to buy our family business in its entirety. Truly, there's no telling how deep the coffers of this Van Hoodie are. Nor do any know the secret of how he amassed such kingly wealth so damnably fast. There are whispers, though, that he solved alchemy's oldest and most legendary problems. The transmutation of base metal into gold. Ooh. Ooh. I like this guy already. Unlikely to say the least, but whatever the source of Van Hoodie's riches, he shows no reluctance in spending them. He's bought a historic temple to serve as his home, and commissioned a private airship among other extravagant expenditures. Nice for some, eh? Those darn billionaires. Another money. I want that money. Cor, that swindling case had barely started before you solved it, Inspector. Ah, ha, 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 ha. All in a day's work, my dear Nashu. True. I believe our business upon the scented hill is concluded. Let's hurry the ingredients back to Inspector Brandahill, shall we? Yeah, let's go. What? Oh, 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 no. oh, no. Oh, no, that's sus as hell, dude. He's just standing there with that, with the skull. I may have mollified his lordship with the secrets of divine manifestation, but the stench of failure that clings to me. I must redeem myself in his eyes by crushing my most hated foe. Wee hee hee. Freaking nerd. I see, I see a little Lollafell running, man. This is great. I freaking love the slapstick of all this. It's amazing. Inspector Hildebrand tells me you have delivered to go along with his damp shroom. Dank shroom. A fine specimen, thank you. I'll be mixing the ingredients in the starship, so let us convey Master Poopoo outside that we may administer his medicine as soon as it's ready. Oh, look at little Poopoo. <laughs> little Poopoo. This should be sufficiently remote. I'll have the craft come to us and we can commence this treatment. Do you look at him? <laughs> Amazing. I, I thought Brandahild is able to control his UFO. It gets so small. We're just chilling. They're doing our thing. Now she's asleep. Sounds about right. Hildebrand just randomly got tea. That's that's accurate. Wait, hey, Poopoo's fine. Look at him. He's back to his f normal self. 
Oh, I feel so much better. I cannot thank you all enough. You're welcome, Poo Poo. My little poopy friend. Master Poo Poo recovered his strength in mere moments. It would seem his powers of recuperation are just as advanced as technology. I came here from another world, a stranger you've no cause to trust, and yet you've treated me so kindly. The people of the star are so very welcoming. Not everybody. I see you, creepy guy in the background. Ha, you are our dear friend now, Master Poo Poo. It is our pleasure to help. Hey, look at Poo Poo. See, look at him. He's, he's sitting over the trees, and then we again got this guy just standing here. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I love it. And it will be my pleasure to harm. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Why are you trying this? I was gonna say, like, how do we not notice this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> he's, he's going Super Saiyan mode. With his brain. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Is he froze time? <laughs> oh my god. How do you how do you do that? I'll not fall for the same trick twice. Yes, you will. Oh no, you got a little barrier. Uh oh. Oh. This guy's bouncing it back and forth. Oh, Branda Hill, no. My friend. Again? How do you have so much energy just in your noggin? Yes! Oh my god, look at the art! <laughs> That's amazing! And he figured out the same thing, but he fell. That's about right. No, oh, Hildebrand's got this. Look at him. That's a genius. No. No, the last time somebody did this for me, it ended badly. Don't do this. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Is he gonna get shot in the air? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Hildebrand just tanking it. He's tanking it. He's tanking it. He's tanking it. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's perfectly fine. No problem at all. He's fine. Oh. He's got a basketball. Oh my god. See, Hildebrand's fine. He's fine. See, he's fine. He's just a little toasty. Just a little bit toasty, but we're alright. He's fine. Yeah, he'll be fine. Impudent Worms takes my full power. I hate this guy. Now she'll crush him. Is she gonna shoot it like a basketball? Oh my god, she is. <gasps> She's having a flashback to every time she shot her bombs in the basketball game. She has her own. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> no, off the rim. Oh no, poo poo. Oh no, random guy. Actually, I don't care about you. Can we just like throw you up there? Hildebrands are dead. I got you. The layup. Yes, the slam <laughs> Oh, all right, I'm I'm good. I'm good. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. Not again. Yeah, goodbye. You're not like Team Rocket. You're not even nearly as cool. Don't act like you did something. Weirdo. Yeah. Save the day again. 
Like every other day. That was, that was a team effort, though. Team effort. Go get your boy. Go away. Leave us alone. You took the full force of that destructive beam, yet here you stand. Somewhat singed, but apparently unharmed. Hildebrand's just built different, man. I've pondered and puzzled over this ex inexplicable fortitude of yours and feel compelled to ask. Are you an alien? <laughs> Jeez. Ah ha ha, fine jest, but I assure you, I'm without a doubt an old Don, born Mandeville of terrestrial Hur Hurian stuck. He's Hildebrand, agent of inquiry and inspector extraordinaire. What more do you need to know? That's right. Where to even begin, but never mind. We have more pressing matters. Like, have you seen this man's father and mother? Like, come on. There's a reason why he's built like that. Such as locating Master Poo Poo's missing comrade. It's time we reopen the case of the silent correspondent. Yes, exactly. And I have a firm theory as to who it was that took the wreckage and its erstwhile pilot. The Charlians. Why? I'm all but certain they've allied with insidious extraterrestrials, which means they'll be under orders to remove any evidence of alien activity. I wager we'll find what we're looking for an old Charlian. We need only infiltrate their operations and expose the nefarious conspiracy. The Charlians can't be bothered to formally ally with foreign nations, much less aliens and Loperts don't count. <laughs> Trust me, I'd sooner flee the star and attempt to subjugate it. I, I, I just, I see Loperts and I need to click that one. While Master Dalian's theory does lack supporting facts, we have no other promising leads to pursue at present. Moreover, I understand that Charlian sets the standard for monitoring astronomical and astrological phenomena. Mayhap their experts have been tracking extraterrestrial movements. Oh, he's doing a little finger thing. Ahem, I've spoken out of turn. Please forgive my presumptuousness. Ah, oh, you're fine, bro. Nay, my friend, I too sent our paths point to the Isle of Archons. Pack your bags, everyone. We leave for Charlie and immediately. Alright, let's go. A group group trip. Group adventure. Not from around here. Oh, I get a gift for this? Hildebrand is keen to embark on the next leg of your investigation. Charlie awaits. We need only charter a suitable sea vessel. Of course, but does not the city lie many days sail to the north? Is there no swifter means of reaching our destination? So this experimental aetherite will allow us to teleport thither, even absent attunement. Splendid! Then we shall avail ourselves of the technological marvel forthwith. Oh, last time we did this, we got really sick. And then, Estinian spent all our money. So this is a city of learning. A sophisticated gentleman should feel right at home here. Oh, ugh. How are you all not sick to your stomachs? I've already done this before, bro, that's why. Experimental aetherites make travel exponentially more fun. Alright, they're, they're just, again, they're just built different. Sometimes it feels though I'm the only normal person in this group of eccentrics. But, but, oh, this is not the time to succumb to nausea. Not here in the belly of the beast. Rumor has it the Charlene secret agents travel a star in search of specimens, which they collect and bring home in service to a confidential research project. Said project is conducted in a huge underground military facility. If we're to find answers, that's where we need to look. Secret agents, you, you mean, you mean gleaners? These gleaner chaps sound like they might know a thing or two. I say we pay them a visit in their little underground base. We simply take a lift from the Hall of Artifice, yes? Then let's be on our way. I can just like, quick tra quick travel over there, man. I need to come with the Charlene more often, man. I miss this place. I don't really spend much time here in ages. Ah, uh, these must be lifts in question. Whoa, who are you? You look cool. Oh, you're, yeah, I remember you now. Do you wish to descend into Labyrinth, though, sir? Yes, please. My apologies, but each of your companions must also secure the proper permissions before we can allow them entrance. If an assurance you need, then surely a single glance is all you require to judge us trustworthy. <laughs> god. No. No. <laughs> Don't say that. Oh my god. You know what? Hildebrand tries. That's all that matters. No, oh, we're gonna be so cozy. No, oh, He's noivous. I can certainly make some judgments, but that is neither here nor there. Admission to Labyrinthos is subject to foreign policy. 
You're the ones who should be judged. I know you're hiding aliens and xenotechnology in that underground base of yours. Admit it. Dude, don't be an asshole. Xenotechnology? That is sincerely have no idea what you're talking about. Oh ho, yet again do our paths cross in the most serendipitous fashion. Yes, there he is. Our boy. F Father, what business brings you to Charlotte? At least he has a shirt on. I'm in search of a certain object, one crucial to continued refinement of the Mandeville weaponry. My investigations lead me to believe it is to be found here in Labyrinthos. And as you also seem to be of business down below. This is my son and his bosom companions. If I vouch for their character, will you kindly allow them to board the lift? Ah, Master Calbert Manderville, the forum sent word of your impending arrival. As a member of the Syndicate, you're at bed. He's in the Syndicate? Oh my god. Your ambassadorial status affords you an entourage about the five members. Pray consider their permissions arranged. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. I know not your current mission, but for the time being, I suggest you accompany me to the Archean. Dope. No, you don't count, friend. Stab him. Just stab him. Stab him. Please. Hate that little dude. He's so creepy. From what Father tells me, the storage facilities are replete with samples and specimens collected from every land on Atheris. If anyone has information concerning a th visiting aliens and crashed starships, it'll be these studious folk. My man looks tired. A shiny silver saucer? I'm sorry, but we have no record of any such object in our archives, either whole or in part. See, <laughs> we will dance. Or so you'd have us believe, but the purpose of the complex, this military fortress is plain. You cannot deny you're conducting secret research on alien starships. Bro, you gotta chill. We're not conducting secret research on alien starships. Yes, we did build a starfaring vessel in Th Thalmazine. I can never pronounce that right. But it was neither for military purposes nor of extraterrestrial origin. Disgusting your foul lies with a sprinkling of truth, are we? Fine, I'll dig up the facts myself and then everyone will hear what you're really up to. Alright. The dude's just like, whatever, bro. While I cannot assist you with your missing craft, I do recall seeing an individual of like appearance to your companion here. You do? And where was this, pray tell? At Mayrell Argonomics, in the medical circuit. The lift at the back of the building will take you down there. Thanks, friend. Many thanks, my good man. Well, well. It seems you found yourself a solid lead. I have my own search to attend to, so I shall bid you good hunting and good day. Bye, friend. You're amazing. Such a badass. Another round of in-depth inquiries by the Agent of Inquiry and friends is in order. To marry all ergonomics we go. Oh, this is the place with the grapes. I haven't been here in a while. Ah. Uh, hello, my dears. It has been far too long since I have seen you. Glorious. Glorious, glorious. Hello, friend. Ah, you must be talking about one of those new Mandra Mandragora strains. We whipped up a batch of bright blue straight onions, but I'm afraid they started to rot almost immediately. Mm, not a Mandra, you say? Well, the only bluish things I can think of around here are the grapes. Look how luscious this crop turned out. I can guarantee you they put that in there because everybody's like, you know, it's such a meme with the grapes. So they had to put that line in there like, hey, look, look, look at our grapes. Your description would lead me to believe you're looking for one of the Mandragoras we hear about. But if, as you say, it's something else you're after, then I'm not sure if I can be of much help. I've only just started working here, so you may have more luck asking the older hands. Got you, got you. Yes, little blue man. Saw him with my own two eyes, I did, and it was no Mandragora. A gleaner in the company of an outside visitor passed through a little while back. Nothing too unusual there, only this, uh, friend you described was scuttling along with them. I know not what purpose brought them to the farm, but whatever it was, they didn't tarry here long. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wonderful, that corroborates all the information I but moments ago skillfully squirreled out of this farmer. <laughs> she claims to be an acquaintance of the gleaner in question, in fact, and will bring him to talk to us shortly. Well, thank you. Let's round up the others. We should all be present to hear what revelations this professional collector has to share. Their backpacks are so huge. You're the folk asking about the little blue man, yes? Oh, and you brought someone who's practically identical. You must be the same species, surely. My friend is really here, then. Aw, awesome. They certainly were. If you have a moment or three, I'll tell you the whole tale. To begin at the beginning, I was in Thavner on a procurement mission when I crossed paths with an apothecary, apothecary and his unusual companion. As I mentioned, the companion was almost your twin in appearance, and the wagon they rode upon bore a damaged vessel the likes of which I'd never seen before. 
Could it be? As a collector by trade, I have a certain weakness for oddities. Thus did I hail the apothecary and acquire uh, after his company and his cargo. The man was only too happy to share a story. He had it, it seemed, quite recklessly plunged into war-torn lands of Garlemald to sell his wares, reasoning that there, that where there was conflict, there would be a need for medicinal goods. You're not wrong. The state of affairs was rather more volatile than he had anticipated, however, and he was soon forced to abandon his venture. And so the apothecary began his long trek home, only shortly thereafter to discover a strange silvery ship and its shaken pilot crash-landed in a snowfield. It cannot be a coincidence. The story continues. After extricating the battered vessel and its occupant from the snow, he brought them home to Razatan. His guests wished to make repairs to the craft, yet even amongst the wonders of the bazaar, they struggled to find suitable parts. Hearing this, I suggested they bring the wreckage itself to Labyrinthos, and after they agreed to the idea, I escorted them here myself. Alas, even the Thamesian engineers who worked in the Ark were stymied by the exotic ship, finding its technology impossible to comprehend, let alone replicate. Where are these guys from? The little blue fellow eventually resorted to drafting schematics. While the engineers followed the step-by-step -step to craft the essential bits and bobs, the apothecary and his companion were waiting here at the Marial. And then what happened? Well, once our industrious visitor had what they needed, they repaired the vessel in a twinkling. The pair then departed almost immediately, and I've seen neither hide nor hair of them since. I'm told the apothecary paid a handsome sum for the engineer's services, but being typical Charlians, I wager they would have happily forfeited the coin for a chance to pour over every square ilm of that ship. Now, I'm no scientist, but I'm beginning to think that such an incredible vessel must have been some kind of starfaring craft, and that low blue man, well... An alien. It's been an alien from another world. <laughs> You're not wrong. Or so I'd like to believe. I'm an avid reader of their in truth, you see, and love to entertain these idle flights of fancy. Oh, look at that. You got a fan. You get the one person to read your, your little uh, little newspaper there, buddy. But I've rambled on too long. These are errands they're Aaron Sotensu, and I really must take my leave. Good fortune to you. Good fortune to you too, friend. Thank you for the information. You're the best. Yeah, can it be true? I have a readership in Charlian. Perhaps I've misjudged these people. Of course. <laughs> So it seemed your comrade is hale and healthy, Master Poo, Poo, and in the company of a Hanish alchemist of undisclosed description. Yes, this is wonderful news. I'm grateful indeed that we made the journey. I have a feeling this case will soon draw to a close. Come, let us return to Razatan and continue the search. To summarize our findings, we now know Mr. Poo -Poo, Master Poo Poo's friend is safe and in the company of a Hanish gentleman, and possibly here on this very isle. Oh, that does sound promising. There he is. Our boy. Father, you've returned to the city. I trust this means your own investigation was successful. Yes, we can level up our weapon. That it was, although laying hands on the object of my desire has been a long and frustrating ordeal, to say the least. Much painstaking research revealed to me the existence of a hereditary Mandeville relic, within which slumbers the secrets of weapon augmentation. Yet though I turned our ancestral home upside down, I failed to unearth the artifact in question. The reason for its absence became clear when I chanced upon the journal of one of our forefathers. He wrote of a visiting scholar's keen interest in the relic, and now how he must how he thus surrendered it into Charlene's safekeeping for study. The trail led me to the Labyrinthos. As it turns out, the Charlenes never did find time to conduct their analysis. The custodian and I found the curio tucked away in a dusty corner of the Archaean, still awaiting processing. Oh. Interesting. And here it is, an oddity every bit as perplexing as Godbird's cipher bound manual. How are we to liberate its hidden wisdom? No, no, man. Oh. Oh, does Poopoo -Poo know something? Yo, Poopoo, -Poo, you, you hooking me up with some weapons? Oh, I can help you with that. These devices were made by the Mandervillians. A star-faring race with whom we once traded. Yo, is my boy Hildebrand an actual freaking alien? The Mandervillians? This is star-faring? Mandervillians? Yes, a highly evolved species with a mastery of advanced technologies. Our people shared ideas and inventions, so I'm quite familiar with your family's relic. If you so wish, I can have the device project project whatever images were stored upon it. Our dark main room would afford us the clearest view, however. Then let us retire to our kingdoms in common and dim the lanterns. We must behold these secrets in optimal conditions. So, they're actual aliens? Oh my god, we're learning so much lore. Mandervillians, a coincidental naming, or is there some deeper connection? It would explain a few things. I'm beefy elephant, boys. Look at us all sitting watching a video. Everyone comfortable? Let's see what the device has for us. Tink. Elephant. Go.
glowy. Bright light, bright light. Very bright. Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. I am God Brand, wanderer of stars and weapons with extraordinaire. God Brand. Godbert like gentlemen. Oh my god. Amazing. First Lord of House Mandeville. This is the God Brand, our founding father. This is wonderful in every way. I record this message that my descendants may know the truth of their cosmic origins. The tale is long, but I bid you watch to the very end. Oh my god, of course. Hairs of mine, I am not a man born of the star, or even a man at all. I am of the Mandevillians, a race which hails from the far side of the great expanse. <laughs> yes! <laughs> They're freaking aliens, man. This is crazy. Love it. Stay okay. The puppet show. Let's go. Or stick figure show. Mandevilliums are parasitic symbionts. We can only survive by bonding with other life forms. They're the freaking venom symbiotes, man. <laughs> My God. Zoop. Yep, yep, yep. It gets larger. Once our essence has taken root, we supplanted the host's mind and strengthens physical structures, imbuing our new form with a steel-like resilience. That explains a few things. I knew there was something alien about that impossible imperviousness. Then, through the conjoining of compatible host bodies, we produce offspring which harbor the next generation of Mandevillians. The symbiotic variant eventually takes to the stars in search of potential new vessels, adapting and multiplying, so as that our race proliferated and spread throughout the cosmos. Until, tragically, our flourishing civilization was brought to an abrupt end. Was it Medion? Every planet upon which we Mandevillians resided was visited by an inexplicable calamity. Our societies were brought to ruin by life forms suddenly twisted into horrific nightmares. Yep, they got Medion. That sounds rather familiar, so even stars far removed in time and space were ravaged by the final days. Oh, was your planet ravaged by final days? These little, little dudes. Desperate to avoid the same fate, a comrade and I boarded a ship and fled upwards into the starry night. <laughs> this is great. We flew and flew until we found a planet, your planet, untouched by the phenomenon, but the rigors of the journey had so damaged our craft that we were forced to make an uncontrolled descent. I alone crawled from the wreckage, badly injured and near death. But even as I resigned myself to perishing on this unfamiliar world, I was found by a man who had come looking for the falling star. <laughs> as a rule, Mandevillians do not take intelligent lifeforms for hosts. After hearing my story, however, the sympathetic gentleman offered to become my vessel for, of his own accord. What a what a chad. He was himself afflicted by an incurable malady, malady, and with little time left to live, seemed content to know that his ailing body could provide safe haven for another. Aww. Heart of gold. And that's what formed Godbert. The legend. With his blessing, I set about transferring my essence. The man's form was revitalized and purged of his fatal frailty, yet the mind which dwelled within was now my own. Hehe. <laughs> I went on to build a new home for myself here, making use of my people's technology to apply the blacksmith's trade. I wed a local lass, and together we had a child. <laughs> Although not pure Mandevillian, our offspring exhibits the same enhanced physiology. A boon, I suspect, shall be passed down for generations through the bloodline of House Manderville. Hmm. 
My dear descendants, the folk of the star are most fragile, yet as the first man I encountered, I did demonstrate. <laughs> they are nevertheless capable of surpassing love and generosity. Oh, look at this family. Oh, that was so sweet. As the last of the Mandevillians, I have but one request to make of you. Pray employ your superla superlative attributes and my armory of Mandeville armaments for the benefit of these wonderful peoples whom I hold in the highest regard. <laughs> Hero. Legend. Legendary. What's an astounding development. Yes, <laughs> they're crying so much. I Hildebrand held held the <laughs> I Hildebrand held to Maximilian Mandeville shall heed the passionate plea of my illustrious forebear. <laughs> no case is too big nor too small should it be in service of my fellow man. Hildebrand just runs off. Alright, that sounds about right. He learns he's descended from an extraterrestrial being and it's still business as usual. Yeah, he's used to it. But wait a minute, then why is Lady Julian so monstrously strong? Is she a descendant of aliens too? No, she's just badass. And hot. Well, well, this is most unexpected. Never did it cross my mind that our esteemed ancestor might hail from beyond the heavens. Me neither. But I do wonder if that self-same blood still runs thick in our veins. The family tree I glanced over some years ago suggests that... Ah, but it is unimportant. My present purpose remains unchanged. I'll bring our Mandeville weaponry to the peak of perfection. For God, Brandon, for the good of our star. Ah, before I forget, I have a gift for you, Relook. Pray away to me at the Aetheret Plaza and I shall bring it to you forthwith. Thanks, fam. They're freaking aliens, dude. What the hell? Oh, they're cleaning up the theater. That's so cool. Some truths can shatter the foundations of our beliefs when brought to light, but I have to say this wasn't one of them. The more staggering discovery was that I have devoted readers in Charlien. Those who pursue, peruse my publication are allies against the ever-expanding webs of lies and deception without exception. I have misjudged the Charlien people. They are not collaborators of the architects of conspiracy. They are but seekers of knowledge unafraid to plumb the depths of the unknown. Alright, dude, you're finally uh, not being a dick all the time. That Master Poo, Poo though, that one still has ulterior motives. I'd bet my life on it. Stand ready, for we shall need have need of your strength when he shows us true colors. Alright. I hope you've not been waiting long. Godbert. This is the gift I mentioned. Master Poo Poo's earnest quest inspired me to indulge in a spot of clockwork craftsmanship between weapon smithing sessions. Oh no, this is Godbert talking. Oh no, this is a big poo-poo. Oh, I thought only fitting you'd be the one to care for this diminutive simiclarum. Consider it a memento of your adventures together. Hell yeah, dude, I get a little, little poo-poo minion? Heck yeah, look at them. Yeah, we, we got a little poo-poo to walk around with. Uh, and as for our Mandeville weaponry project, I believe my ancestor's artifact has unlocked the door to the next stage of improvements. Should you find time to offer your assistance, announce yourself to Master Geralt, and I shall endeavor to join you with utmost celerity. Until then, my dear Relic. Hell yeah. Build a brand. Legend. Meanwhile, elsewhere in Thavnair. Post credit scene, let's go. Alright, these guys still being all sus out here. Oh, what the hell? What is this? Whoa, it's another spaceship. Uh, excuse me? What the hell are all those? What is this? Lord Van Hoodie, I come with ill tidings. Professor Luge has set an ambush for his nemesis, but was once more defeated. His current whereabouts are unclear. Ah, this is that rich guy. Son of a bitch. And they know aliens, too. That blithering dolt. Who are they multiplying? Are they multiplying him? Oh, no. 
It's gonna be bad, dude. It's gonna be really bad. Is he making an army of himself? I think that's what he's doing. Oh my god, what an asshole. Yeah, that's definitely what he's doing. Oh no. We're gonna have to kill so many of these things. No matter, preparations are well underway. The manifestation will proceed as planned. Alright, weirdo. No, there's so many of them. <laughs> and they're all rich. And just making more. Is that his airship that just flew by? Yeah. What the hell, man? This is, this is some crazy stuff, dude. Oh, he's just straight up building a whole army. Okay. Yeah, this is this is just weird. But Hildebrand is amazing, as always. Yeah. Yeah. He <laughs> love it. Oh look at all the poop. -poo. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Little triangle, dude. See you, Inspector. I love, I love the Hildebrand stuff so much. It's so good. Still easily one of my favorite things about Final Fantasy XIV. I, I love the Hildebrand stuff. All right, well, I'm going to go finish up my relic. Thank you guys for uh, thank you guys for watching again. I always love it when I can put more Hildebrand on here because I just love playing it so much and just sharing my experiences with you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, if you if you liked it, you know, hit that uh, like button, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff because it actually does really, really help. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.